I mean, if we look at your, your classic example, I always associate with you is you're tuning a radio. Old fashioned tuning. The kids today, they don't know how to tune a radio because they can so how do you tune in YouTube, right? How do you analogize this in, in terms of a radio station? Because someone say, yes, you need to get it within a few kilohertz on a megahertz scale. So is that part in a million or is it a part in a thousand? Or is it really from zero to infinity and everywhere in between? And actually, you picked out this one band that's right. Anyway, can you give your analogy? What does it mean to be fine-tuned in, the, in a, a way that the audience can understand if they're not familiar with Well, if you want to tune a radio, you need to specify the frequency of the tuner because each radio station has a different frequency. Now, the FCC tells you what the allowed spacing of those frequencies are because they, they only give licenses for so many radio stations. So in very rough orders of magnitude terms, frequencies are spaced sort of 1% of the frequency apart. So if you change your frequency by more than about 1%, you go from one station to the next, or one allowed station to the next. Not every part of the country has their radio band saturated, <laughs> but if you're in a big city, you change your frequency by 1%, you go from one station to the next. So if you actually want to tune in a radio, you have to know the frequency, or the radio has to know the frequency, to about 1% accuracy. Less accuracy, so bigger error bars will not get you your radio station. So tuning, not fine-tuning, but just tuning a radio requires 1% accuracy. 